Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my channel. Today I am just wandering around an antique store here in my little town and I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me. So come on. Look at this. I found a whole kindergarten over here. All little babies. Look at that. Yawning, screaming, laughing. Being kind of confused or crying. Oh, look at these. <laughs> There's a baby that has teeth right there. But I think this one is the cutest. It's, I think it's yawning. Let's see. <gasps> yeah, it's yawning. It's not real size, but it is very real looking. Cutie. We have another group of kindergartners over here. Look at that, the whole group, and for some reason they're all naked. Well, not this side. This side is dressed. <laughs> but this side, kindergartners, I guess maybe they're taking a bath or a shower or something, because they didn't bother getting dressed over here. Well, this is one of the biggest dolls I have seen in a while. I think it's bigger than the baby. It's, it's about the size of a two or three year old child with a hairdo of a 60 year old. I'm not quite sure why that hairdo is appropriate for a child, but there she is. I know, I know, that's not a doll, but guys, I can't walk by this and not take a picture of this cutie. A bear with glasses and the hat. Ah, oh, I had to look at that and show you guys. Oh, I just have to pinch these cheeks. I know this is not a very old doll and it's very classic and you know, the hair could be better. But look at this face. It is so cute. It's chubby. It has freckles. Ah, oh, what a cutie. What a cutie. Mm-hmm. And right next to it is Raggedy Ann. Hello. I think this is newly made Raggedy Ann because it just looks so fresh. We have a couple of those at home and they don't look anything like this one. Wow, this one apparently is a very collectible doll. It has a certificate of authenticity right there. It's beautiful, but it's eyes. I'm not going to touch it because I'm afraid to break it. I don't want to pay for it. But there it is. Older dolls. Sure. Beautiful eyes. Look at these eyes right here. They're almost glowing. Of course, it helps that this doll is looking at the light. Not just the light, by the way. It's a nice light. But this doll is still beautiful. Even despite the hairdo is not being really great, again, this is a beautiful doll. I was looking at that and admiring it, and then I realized that I need to raise the little coat and look at her feet. Look at her feet, how cute is that? She's got little red sandals on. Little shoes. These two friends look like they're ready to go somewhere nice. Maybe church? Maybe a wedding? Look at that color. That looks super uncomfortable. But look at these eyelashes. With these eyelashes, it really does not matter what you're wearing. You're gonna be popular lady around. And then this little girl, uh, she reminds me of Dorothy. I think it's because of her outfit. She kind of looks like Dorothy. She needs red shoes and a little cute dog around and she can be Dorothy. Some abstract paintings over here. Um, I can't say I like this. It's really not my style. I can make that happen. I can make similar paintings, but they really don't talk to me. They don't have any feelings, at least in my opinion. I want something that I can rest my eyes on. So out of all of these paintings, I like this one the best just because I can see that there's a door and a pathway to it. That is as simple as that. And this picture talks to me. By the way, that's $150. So it's gonna stay exactly where I found it. But the rest of them, I, I, they don't talk to me. They're just paint. 
I found this really, really cute little fox. Look at that. And I had to show it to you. There are several paintings here. Oh, look at that. The rose is nice too. And I think that's made into a card, like a greeting card. That's a cute one, dreamer. This lady has some talent. She needs to keep developing it. So anyway, that's her little booth right here. This guy mostly is doing photography. shelves like these but I don't really know why I need one I really didn't come up with a good explanation why I need a shelf like this so I am NOT buying one especially for this price that's a little too much for me right now but as soon as I figure out why I need a shelf like that I'm getting one well this is an interesting idea for a business I'm sorry I don't think this is gonna be a successful business this booth has nothing but little pom-poms and they're quite expensive actually like this thing is $30 and it's a reef I guess uh, this little garland is $20 and um, yes I understand it's handmade but I don't don't understand how anybody would be willing to pay that money for for these Sorry. Someone thought it was a good idea to put this girl in the frame in a little shadow box. Look at this beauty. Obviously, she's had better days, but she still has a lot of character. Alright, we have one more artist over here. And this artist using a very interesting texture. I'm not, not quite sure what that is. I think it might be glue. Anyway, there's texture on several of these paintings. Uh, a little abstract. Okay, so this one, I know it's abstract, but it, because it has texture, and also because it's blue and I love blue, I like this one. mix of Mexican themed art and Indian, Native American themed art. Um, <laughs> there we go. And there's some over here too, kind of a Native American themed art. This guy looks like a baby, dressed like a baby. Must be a baby. There's another baby. Oh, look at this beauty. This is a very, very old doll, as you can tell. Look at the cracks on the feet. And yet, it is still beautiful, still interesting. Almost spooky how real it is still. If you like this video, my little walk through the antique shop, please put thumbs up and subscribe below. Thank you so much. I just like this wreath, so I wanted to show it to you has all kind of beautiful bright flowers, perfect for spring. Look at that!